Where's he at? What's happening, Randy? Hey, Andrew. What you doing, brother? Oh, just coming in to get a little oil change. How you doing? Change. I'm doing good, brother. You awesome. Doing right? I'm doing good. How's fishing going? Hey, it's going. I'm getting my butt kicked in the first pro tournaments of the year. Well, but Gunnersville was good. Listen, you got to start in the valley before you get to the top of the hill. That's right. Always. And it, it's always changing. Yeah, you know? every day. Yeah. It's a challenge every day. That's it. Well, welcome back to the channel Fishing with Norby. I'm in here. We got Randy. Appreciate your partnership. No, anytime. If you guys need anything, uh, come see Randy at Gilbert and Bob Ford here in Albertville, Alabama. He'll hook you up. You got new trucks. You got used trucks. Yeah. And you rental name it. cars. You can order a truck. Yeah, order a truck. Rental. We got the rental car business and all that. Going you on. lease them too? Yes. Lease them too. All right. Does it all. Come see him. Tell him Norby sent you. We're getting an oil change and we are going to get new front brakes. I've been wearing them out towing that boat around. So um, having that done today, visiting with Randy for a little bit, always a good time. And then we are heading to Smith Lake. We got a tournament coming up. This is going to be day one of practice. We're going to jump into it, tow the boat there and hop on the lake in the morning. We'll see you there. Alright, we just drove down to Smith Lake, about an hour and a half from the house, and we are getting ready to put in. Sunrise is happening. I'm excited. It's going to warm up today to about 60, but right now it's freezing, guys. we got our gloves on, Frog Talk gloves. Uh, if you guys need anything from Frog Talks, go get it on the website, frogtalks.com. Use my code AN20. Capital AN20, save you 20%. That's a lot. Buying a rain suit, that's over 100 bucks in savings. Uh, and they got some amazing gloves and boots and everything under the sun. But we're going to dump in here. I'm pulling up my Bass Forecast app and showing you guys what the rating is today. So we are in Good Hope, Alabama. I use my current location because we are at Smith Lake and we're fishing this area. It says 4.3 out of 10 that's a moderate day that's not bad that's not bad uh, we'll click on it here open it up it says bass patterns pre-spawn this pulls in all your weather data and it's based on science guys uh, it recommends throwing a ned rig a jerk bait a spy bait a, a rattle trap or a jig good good suggestions there let's see if we go fish rock it says a wacky rig too um, wood it says a slow rolled spinner bait yep that's good and if there there's no grass here um, so we're going to go with that um, spy bait i like that top structure secondary points and then it has migration routes to spawning areas and flats near spawning areas as well as one yeah those are both flats i guess transition banks there you have it so that is what our bass forecast app says we're pre-fishing for the major league fishing toyota guys this event is going to have 260 boats i think i already said that in the intro at ford but it's early it's early so we're going to put in we're just going to look around today do some fishing do some catching we got five days of practice here so 
we got more time than our normal pro circuit events in the tackle warehouse series and i'm excited let's get on the water go find them i'm gonna bring you along all day it's gonna be fun subscribe to the channel if you haven't let's go all right found some bait in this creek we're gonna start roaming fold up our cornfield fishing gear folding out get it set up good we are ready before we get started here i'm using the new chartreuse juice on my little to make you rigs yeah that's gonna get them right there yup All right. Somebody following it, and they're gonna suck it in now. Leave that one out. That's a lot of thump gel right there, folks. Ten bucks a tube. Blessed to have that. If you see me on the lake, holler at me. I might give you one. Serious. They're throwing that little baby rage swimmer, two and three quarter inches, but. They're just following it. So, I'm going to take it off. And we're going to try the old baby Z2. Yeah. That dude. With the straight tail. The old straight tail. See what happens. Because they're just following it. They might not want much action this morning. There we go. We'll throw that on there with the little... Drill. Let's see if that'll do. There he is. <laughs> Roamer out here. Middle of the lake. Number one for the day. What is it? It's a good fish. Oh, it's a real good one. Woo! Okay, guys. That is a healthy fish. Oh, wow. I did not have... There. Did not have that camera going. Guys, that is a nice spotted bass right there. Fish is probably two and three quarters. Fat. Number one for practice. The reason they call them a spotted bass, see that spot on their tongue right there? I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful spotted bass. See you, buddy. Whew, that didn't take long. One more that size, and we're going to skip about 500 yards of water. Go way back up in this creek and see if they're there. He ate the straight tail. The Strike King Baby Z2. Got a straight tail and a paddle tail on here. We'll see if it makes a difference. Just want to see what they what they want to eat. It's kind of an inconvenience having two on here because your line tangles up. But sometimes you get a better idea of what's going on and what they want. Let's catch them. There we go. There's another one out there, Roman. Took us 23 minutes to catch another fish. But we got us another one. And he's a, he's a good one, too. Two pound spots everywhere. Man. Two, two and a half. Gosh, he's fat. <laughs> Ate that baby Z2 again. Munched it. See, buddy.
about to get it fit right here folks 80 feet out dropping down to him got him <laughs> we got us one maybe two maybe two we might have just doubled up folks i think we did that's so i got the double to mickey on there no it's just one good one it's just one good one take the baby z2 again all right i need to get out of this cove need to get out of this cove it's full of two and a quarters all right that's fun wow there's another one not a big one but fun very fun <laughs> oh i love it guys this rod is the best rod open water spinning seven foot six medium mach two this thing is so good you can fling this thing a mile i caught that fish 100 feet out and love it oh wow there is a big group of them that's what they look like guys that's what they look like watch this there's my bait sinking down to them let's see if they see it they might not see it no nope, they didn't see it got to catch that big group of them so just found this in my boat one of the last fish i caught spit it up tiny little blueback herring digested we are hooked up again guys this is a nice one here jeez we got some nice one another nice one fatty boat close to him yep fatty go right there go right there <laughs> right here to the mouth of another creek boom spotty that is so fun <laughs> They are everywhere roaming out here for herring. Wow. Gosh, big singles out here. Put that big swim bait down and grab the, the baby Z2. <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about, guys. Big single spots. So fun. So fun. That's not a big one, but he's a nice one. Definitely a nice one. Just engulf this thing. Got him. Off of a tree. <laughs> the biggest one of the day. Not. Got him. Got us another one, folks. Feels like a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a good one.
Oh yeah. Nice little 15 incher. Nice little 15 incher. Let's see if there's some big ones in these fish. Got one. There are three of them together right here. We are about to catch a lot of fish in this tournament. We just need some big ones. We need some big ones. If I don't catch any big ones doing this, we're gonna have to abandon plan. These are all 14 inches. We got us another one, folks. This is so fun. <laughs> Loading up on spotted bass. See if I can get one back to back babies. All right, it's heating up a little bit. Feels great, shedding some layers. I am also eating a little jerky that I got from the Dollar Jerky Club. You guys sign up for that if you're not a member of the Dollar Jerky Club. Amazing jerky, way cheaper than 20 bucks a bag at the gas station. And it's a monthly subscription box like Mystery Tackle Box. Great flavors, brands that aren't in the stores, your local brands, they taste better, and you get all sorts of stuff. Meat sticks, I'm about to snack on some guys, but you can get 50% off your subscription using my code AN50, capital AN50. That's a big discount. Go try it out, get it for somebody you know if you don't like jerky, but who doesn't like jerky? We're having a good day. We've caught about 20, 25 fish so far and you've probably only seen about 10 or so of them but we're gonna get back at them this afternoon keep doing what we're doing scoping them for the second half of the day see how the sun and the warming up affects them since we have five days of practice and i'm probably going to run this back in another area of the lake tomorrow and scope a whole nother day i did have a three pounder get off right by the boat i was trying to hide him and i did <laughs> So one, one good one. If we can get five three pounders on tournament day, I'll be feeling pretty good. But I'm gonna snack up. Got one. Baby, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, got him, got him. <laughs> It is a baby, dude. It's like 10 inches. This one could join old Ned. Got him. Have not caught a largemouth yet. Dude, there's a ton on this dock. Jeez. There's what? A ton on this dock. <laughs> Oh boy, hey, you find dock fish, you better mark them. Dude, they're on like every dock right now. Oh my God, somebody's gonna figure out that bite. Yeah, got one on the dock. Oh, it's a good one, dude. Halfway back, oh gosh. Large mouth or spot? Oh, I don't know, I haven't seen him yet, dude. He's big though. He's big. He's heavy, dude. He's rolling like a catfish. What? Yeah, it was for a second. It's big, man. Oh gosh, there's another one with him. Dude, this is a, a four pound spot. <laughs> oh wow. Wow. Oh wow. This is the one right here. I need about, okay. I need about three of these in the tournament. Oh yeah, he's three and a half. Man, he might go four, bro. Nah, he just looks big because he's so, that dude he might go for he's one of them, them high gosh yeah he's a three and three and a half at least a three and three quarter somewhere in there nice. yeah nice. dude he's huge what oh Demiki, dude there was like six of them they were all really? the same size yeah <laughs> wow <laughs> Dude, they all followed into the boat too. 
Nice. That's so fun, bro. <laughs> 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 There's so many like that on that place, dude. Man, I mean, for real. I feel like you're always on the phone with me when I catch a good one in practice and you make the video. <laughs> you are too. Every time, either one of us Every time. people are on the phone. Yeah. Just getting in from fishing. Awesome evening out on the water, guys. We're staying at a little lake house. Laker knew somebody. Staying with Laker, Ethan, Marshall. You'll get to see them in the videos coming up. Uh, it's always fun staying with people. Keeps you going. Uh, keeps you excited more than just being by yourself in my opinion but uh, it's fun had a really good day we caught like 40 fish out there such a fun time beautiful day first light first day on Smith Lake in normal conditions I've ever been on Smith Lake so that was awesome um, I'm reading the word and I want to share a little something with you uh, I want to ask you how do you judge yourself do you find yourself comparing yourself to the things of this world or other people? Um, but comparing your sin, you know, I don't live as bad as that person. Or even if you're not comparing yourself to others, I, I'm, I'm a good person because I, I don't do this. You know, I, I don't uh, do drugs or I, I haven't gone to jail or I'm not... Uh, you know having adultery outside of my marriage or I'm not doing those things but what about the things we are doing guys what about the sin we are doing uh, I want to encourage you not to judge yourself by the things of this world and comparing yourself but to judge yourself to the righteousness of God that's what the Bible calls us to do Acts 3 26 says to you first, God, having raised up his servant Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from your iniquities. He wants us to turn away from our sin. Um, Acts three nineteen says, So what do you need to do? Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Refreshing is so good, guys. So good. So we're to be converted. What does that mean? It means to fully turn to the Lord. It's our job. Repent and turn. When temptation comes our way, don't uh, dabble in it. Don't dabble in it because it will lead you down a path you don't want to go and keep you longer than you ever thought it would. Uh, so don't, don't dabble in it. Turn and run is what the Bible says. Run the other way. Don't give in. Make it the first thing you do. First thing you do, you get in a habit of when you're tempted, you turn and run the other way. Just run. Just go. Go do something else. Get out of the house. Go do something else. Guys, you know you know what I'm talking about. And run from that temptation. Um, so listen to the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Listen to the Lord's voice. If, if you listen to that, you might just... Uh, hear him talk to you in other ways and, and speak to you in other ways about uh, doing good. But he wants to rid you of the sin in your life, guys. Uh, so just want to encourage you with that today. Hope you enjoyed this Smith Lake video. We got some more tournament practice days dropping next. Exciting times. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We'll catch you on the next one here at Fishing with Norby.